Hi everyone, uh, today I am going to work with this uh, Mercury 200 uh, twin engine boat. Uh, this is Mercury 200 uh, four stroke engine. So this uh, boat, uh, today actually I am going to tell you how to uh, charge the battery. But uh, uh, this boat is actually uh, like six months is uh, in the stores. I check uh, oil and uh, everything fuses and uh, filters i check everything about uh, i'm going to show you how to charge the battery so sometimes you can see the if the if boat has uh, build up a smart charger you need to plug into the wall then uh, it will automatically charging uh, you can see that boat over there so that uh, mercury Rado uh, 300 uh, 353 engine so that port actually has a smart charger so you can plug into the wall then uh, you can charge the battery but uh, in this port uh, uh, it doesn't have uh, uh, smart charger so I'm going to charge the battery so I have two charger one is the like manual charger other one is the smart charger like uh, automatic charger so I put both charger because uh, it will make uh, so if I use only one it, it does take a long time to full charge the battery you can see here they have uh, two battery this uh, port side and here they have one battery in the starboard side so now uh, I'm going to charge one by one so here I have one uh, manual charger and here I have one uh, small uh, smart uh, automatic charger so this one here, I already hook up this wire to positive to positive and negative. I already uh, uh, connect that rod. Then this uh, charger here, you can see this uh, adjuster which is the charging rate as a uh, ampere. So this depends on the battery size. You can adjust like this. It, uh, if you can decrease or increase, which means this is the smallest battery like uh, motorbike, car, like that small. Uh, uh, vehicle then uh, up to uh, lorry and bus battery so so I'm using like maximum and uh, uh, a little less than maximum like this then you can see this uh, lead red color lead that lead usually should come here now it's its lead is in the zero because the battery is completely dead after this battery may be getting some current this lead should come here then it will slowly go up to zero which means when they go to up to zero which means battery is uh, fully charged but it does take long time this is like 10 ampere that is a uh, 95 ampere uh, battery so it does take a uh, long time to charge if the battery is completely dead if you're using long time still the this uh, red lead is not coming to up to uh, uh, like maximum then it not moving so which means battery is uh, not possible to charge battery is completely dead and you have to replace the battery because this is uh, a GM battery so then uh, so I'm going to check this one uh, when the lead should come here then it should go slowly up to zero so here you can see this uh, automatic charge okay now i am going to uh, talk about this uh, three stage smart uh, three stage smart charger so also i put this uh, two connector already uh, connected to the my other side battery so this charger usually you can fix in the boat or in your rv and uh, any vehicle that you can check the take the ac power so i'm going to tell you the main things and the uh, important thing that uh, you may need to know about this charger so first I need to tell the uh, my other charger like uh, before I show you the charger and the difference between this both charger so if you connect this charger so you can see um, it will uh, usually start by three stage so first is bulk uh, current second is absorption third is float and uh, depending on the charger it will show you by the LCD display or like uh, LED light or like by the words something like that also so 
but any of uh, if you use any of the smart charger the the working principle is almost same so when you connect the charger uh, this is uh, 12 volt 25 12 volt 25 mean 25 ampere age so when you connect this charger to the battery when it is starting it will start by the bulk uh, uh, bulk current so bulk mean is uh, it will give the uh, highest rate of ampere age and with the highest rate of voltage so which means the charger is up to this charge up to 13.2 volt uh, DC but uh, it will give like more than 14 uh, volt to charge the battery uh, as possible uh, as soon as possible but uh, it doesn't stay up to long time the uh, once the batteries reach to the up to like uh, 80 percent this uh, this uh, numbers I tell you like 80 percent 70 percent that number will be changed depend on the uh, battery charger depend on your uh, uh, the brand and depend on your manufacturer details but uh, most likely when they reach to the 85 80 percent the it will come to the absorption flame level you can see this one showing abs mean absorption so the down one is bulk the upper one is float once it reach to the 80 percent of the batteries uh, become charged because uh, up to uh, if the battery is almost dead uh, if given the high, highest rate for the charge in the battery battery is still safe because battery is uh, there is no risk for explosion or become overcharging or something no because uh, it will come to 80 percent once it come to 80 percent it will uh, come to the absorption uh, level absorption uh, stage so absorption stage what it does it will reduce little bit the voltage that uh, charger usually working like uh, now uh, depend on this charger 13.25 volt dc it will uh, reduce the voltage and it will uh, slowly give into the uh, current then once it reach to the maximum level like uh, if i tell you that is also depend on the manufacturer it will be little different uh, like 90 or 95 percent uh, when the battery is charged up to 90 or 95 percent it will uh, become the it will change to the uh, stage like float float mean is uh, it will give the less less ampere age like uh, very small ampere age with the low voltage and uh, so the voltage the battery can hold up which voltage that is the voltage they maintain that voltage and they will give the little ampere age and it will maintain the current to the battery so with the safe level that is the how uh, three stage is working then i'm going to tell you uh, the uh, things about this uh, charger if you use in this charger uh, permanently if you put uh, or fix to the boat or fix to your vehicle or somewhere anywhere you can use this one and the if you fix this one properly it's completely uh, uh, safe to leave the charger even one month even two month even year because this charger that's why we call it smart charger it charger will uh, uh, maintain the battery voltage it's uh, not become any risky or something like that but uh, you have to fix this one first according to the manufacturer details especially you know there's a temperature sensor the temperature sensor you need to fix into the battery it will detect the temperature once the battery's temperature become high the charger will be automatically shut down and also if there's a voltage problem charger will be shut down and in once the voltage is become okay or any if any malfunctioning once the the malfunctioning become okay the charger will uh, become to recovery to the uh, same procedure so if you use this charger and uh, it's completely safe you can use a long time and depend on the charger you can sometimes you can see the only the blinking light and uh, red and green orange light like that and sometimes you can see like a digital uh, display it will show the uh, what is the stage and what is the percentage and like that and uh, also uh, that you need to familiarize with 
uh, your charger catalog uh, what is the indicator is meaning so sometimes you can see blinking green and sometimes you can see uh, solid green or sometimes red or sometimes orange like that so that's depend on the charger and also there's one more thing i need to tell you if you select the charger so for example if your battery is uh, you have to select the charger like uh, 25% uh, uh, depend on the battery ampere age. for example if your battery is 100 then you can use the 25 ampere charger it is more safely for the battery for the long time if you're using a uh, 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 bigger charger it's actually you can charge very quickly but it doesn't make uh, uh, it, it makes the problem for the life of the battery which means if your battery you can use fire that if you use the bigger charger but you you can charge the quickly but maybe one or two year it will become less the uh, uh, battery lifetime so that is what you need to be careful when you check when you uh, select the charger and uh, in my experience I I get one problem also I'm going to tell you about the not about this one then my I'm working in the motors that motors I have 95 ampere uh, Newmar charger that charger always become uh, malfunctioning it showing the high temperature the charger become high temperature for the battery so once I check you can hear this uh, sound so which mean the when the battery charger is become you know inside they have transformer coil the once the battery charger is become there's a cooling fan it cooling fan is automatically uh, working the when i check i can i cannot hear the sound which mean the cooling fan is uh, uh, burned the cooling fan is shut down that's why charger is become hot and it will indicate the charger is uh, become hot then charger automatically shut down once the charger is become cooled down charger is automatically come to uh, uh, the uh, same procedure but once I change the cooling fan it was okay now it's working properly and you need to be careful about that one that is the only my problem before that uh, cooling fan uh, can be become problem some the cooling fan under the cooling fan there's uh, some small strainer sometime you need to clean that strainer become uh, 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 can insert the good uh, air flow into the charger okay that's uh, main thing that you need to i need to tell you and uh, my next video i'm going to i'm try to also fix this charger in the battery and i will show you the, also the voltage and i'm going to discuss more little bit about this charger but that is the main thing you need to be careful uh, you need to be know uh, you may need to be know about this this uh, smart charger if i compare this uh, two uh, two uh, charger this is uh, like manual charger that if you're using this kind of charger you, you always have to be monitored what is happening with the battery because this is not the smart charger this is a usual charger that you can uh, use but uh, the how many hour you need that you need to check uh, every time that uh, what is the level of charger if the charger level is okay if the, uh, uh, the this lead is come to zero which means batteries with fully charged you need to disconnect this charger it's um, risky if you not uh, uh, monitor this charger every time because uh, this is not a smart charger it's not shut downing it's always trying to give the old, uh, the amperage to the battery even battery is uh, completely charged so it better become uh, overcharging it can due to this this charger this is completely safe if you're using this kind of smart charger for your battery so that is uh, the main thing I need to tell you about the this charger how, to, how we use this charger so I hope you get an idea you can subscribe my video so my problem is the this engine is not starting because battery is dead so but my I'm focused the how to charge the battery what is the difference between these two charger thank you very much and have a nice day